Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to a video by Dark Mind on the Basewood County Analog Horror Series. Now, if you guys have been following me for long enough, you'll know that I've reacted to this in the past. This is an awesome analog horror about humanoids, and I've actually had to do a little bit of research just to keep up to date and remind myself of the story so far. So if you wish to skip the recap and just get straight into the meat and potatoes, then there will be a timestamp here or just look below. Maybe there's like a chapter thing there. I've got some notes. Let me just put on my uh, old man glasses here. I don't need them to read. It's just part of the... So, Basewood County Summary. It's not that long. Uh, just so you're up to date and you don't have to go... Well, go watch the videos for yourself anyway. But this is just a quick summary hitting on the main points. There's a humanoid alert telling people to stay indoors as someone who looks human is killing people. Worrying. Concerning. Someone who looks human. I don't know why they would want to say that on the news but uh yeah that that's going to cause pandemonium jeff alberson who is a detective i believe investigates a victim's home and finds tapes and sketches from 1998 showing the victim being stalked by said humanoid basewood county police department show a classified identified identity test sorry to help spot these humanoid creatures in 1992 suggesting that these humanoids have been around longer than previously thought and that is definitely the case because in the next video there is a building in the woods which housed the humanoids that was found by calvin basewood in 1868 the county was named after this man and the building was named the chamber so people are going missing in the area and are being assimilated with the humanoids now i think there are multiple humanoids i don't know if it's just the one i think there are multiple suggesting what the on this chamber thing that which i'm about to talk about so inside the chamber are corpses of people with holes in their bodies and roots growing from their back we learn this is what remains after the humanoid is done using them so once again i don't know if it's one humanoid and like just using different people to look human or if it's multiple humanoids because in the chamber there's a little window and underneath in this text it says something like where they come from or something so it's like a different dimension and these humanoids are coming in through like this kind of portal i guess uh so they essentially wear your skin like a suit which is fun and uh, what's even more fun is that they can enter your consciousness when you sleep so good luck sleeping have fun with that so this is a continuation of that that was literally very broad very well very like general go watch the series for yourself the like i said the link will be down below this video is called the forgotten humanoid basewood county analog horror and it says in the description the eighth episode from basewood county series they take humans and turn them into skin suits and transform into a heart like creature to control the body the threat in Basewood County dates back to 200 years. All illustrations and footage by me. Thanks to my friend Gueli for participating in this video. Without further ado, guys, we're going to jump into this. Turn this up a bit. Let's get spooky. Let's get scary. Where's my fluff gone? The fluff on the mic's just gone. <clears throat> oh, lovely jubbly. Here we go. Stand he up. seemed off. He was normal the day before. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something off about this man. I think this might be in reference to a man that was called Andy Richards, I believe, who, who was missing, and I think they found his body in the and chamber. suddenly, he was different. Yeah. His face was odd, like a thing pretending to show emotions, but failed. Uncanny, his yeah. His neck grew longer. That's not good. His Look body giraffe. was slender. Damn. Walking unsteadily, like he doesn't have a purpose. Right. And then, there were things like roots came out of his back. Roots. The people noticed him, and they stayed away from who they once knew. People began so to appear day by day. He was the first suspect. So, the Andy, Andy Richards was the first suspect. They searched for him, but they didn't find him, only to find flesh and limbs scattered across the county. Well, that's not good. Decades passed and he was forgotten. Like the man who lived among them didn't even exist. So what, the, this humanoid just lives among them? Does he got to have like a nine to five blending in, doing some like office job? He did. And the beings took him, uh -oh. wore his body like a skin suit. That's disgusting. They came from another dimension. Okay. From beyond and far from beyond. Damn. They invaded us by a portal. 
portal in the in chamber. A building yes. Called the chamber. They. So the okay, horror. there's multiple humanoids. Okay, that has been sussed Within now. Humans. The flesh is scattered, but they bring it together. What? Oh my god. Remains of the monster. My... That's... That's no... Exi that, that's a horrible existence right there. It's like he's grown into the ground, or grown from the ground, and roots are coming out. Is that Andy Richards? Is that the remains of Andy Richards? Oh, dear. Okay. I'm guessing that was the mask he was wearing, like, freaking... What's his name? Leatherface. Close your doors, they can enter your home. All of my doors? Is there something in there? What is it with mimic-like creatures liking, like, wardrobes and closets and stuff? It's the same in, um, Vita Carnis. Oh dear. That is not looking good. It's like Jab Jabba the Hutt. Like a worm-like skin. There's no one left in the house. Your family is gone. Well, this, this thing killed this person's family who's recording? these pictures of the family torn up neck for the anomaly to enter and spread Andy Stevens skin suit man the following footage is a recovered footage from the 1996 Basewood County investigation conducted by a group of seven researchers from Philadelphia US okay so the I believe these were the guys that went into the chamber I think they recorded some of the unusual things found in the county. Only two out of seven of the group survived. Wow. Five researchers went missing or killed. Scattered limbs were found by police days after the incident. Their camera footage was recovered. Footage one, the chamber. Okay, so this is them. I like the idea that this person is just reversing. It's not actually going forward. This is the building? That can't be the building. That's too close to freaking civilization. Why is nothing being done about this? Spacewood County been taken over by humanoids. And now they're in like positions of power. Uh oh. Some really cool drawings as well. Dagmar knows how to draw these spooky ass things. Reminds me of Shadow Man, in a way, the game. I think it was on Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. Or Dreamcast, at least. I think I had it on the Dreamcast. I've got it on Steam as well. Oh my goodness, that looks like something out of Little Nightmares. Who is this ghastly man? Sorry guys, it's doing that thing with the... Give me a sec. That is some very detailed drawing right there. I'm gonna get that tattooed right on my back. <laughs> Make it glow in the dark. And just scare the crap out of people. They look like trees, don't they? Like little Groot's. What was it meant to show though? I'm guessing this this is the anomaly, the anomaly, the anatomy. So this is where, the, this is the window that they refer to in the chamber where they come from. So this is like the portal. It's like Silent Hill for the room when you go through the hole in your bathroom and it leads you to Silent Hill in a different dimension. 
drawing found inside the chamber showing the portal which the beings come to earth from. Have we thought about going through there or just sending like a like a like a nuke? No, no, not a nuke. The creature transformation into three types of humanoids. I'll just throw a Molotov through there. Better yet, just block it off. The core, which is the part that the beings control the human body with. Okay, and that's inside of the humanoids. Or does that go inside the human to control them? An unsettling illustration of a humanoid possibly called Face of the Void. Right. Footage 2. This looks like a nice area. It looks almost surreal, you know, like in those, like, I don't know how to explain it, when AI captures, like, 80s fantasy. It does, like, fantasy, like, you know, wizards, mages, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then it turns it into, like, I don't know, it has this kind of aesthetic to it, this vibe. I'm sure he's friendly. What in the name of Jesus? What is this? Is that a husk? Looks like a husk. This is like taking Leatherface to the to a whole new level. It's like wearing the skin, your whole skin as a suit. Skin of a victim turned into a humanoid with a drawing next to it showing an ana anatomy of the creature. So that's just drawing. So that these humanoids are artists. They're just trying to get recognized. You'll see their Instagram handle there on the bottom right. Imagine like like outside of this analog horror, because obviously, you know, Dark Mind draws these things, right? Imagine he just left that there and then some kids were wandering through one day and just came across it. That would be terrifying. That does look pretty awful, I'm not going to lie. That's an awesome picture, though. And I'm getting that thing in the middle is the core that's controlling the thing. Yeah, if I found that in the middle of the woods at night time, what is that thing? It's a man wearing a hat. Hello? This is pretty cool. The Shadow Man. Quite literally, it's the Shadow Man. Footage 4. Awakening. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. What's happening? Are they in some kind of ward? Some kind of padded room? Is this the, where the humanoid just lives? MTV Cribs? Okay. God, that's an old reference. I'm so old. Detective Jeff Alberson transformation. November 1998. Detective Jeff Alberson found tapes in one of the victim's houses killed by a humanoid. This was what I was talking about at the very start, guys. While watching one of the tapes, Jeff Alberson disappeared without a trace. Suspected to have been transformed into a humanoid. And he became one. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the person in the hat is Detective Jeff Alberson. Ah, yes. Yes. He looks like a ghoul from Fallout. 
Uh, illustrations assuming Jeff Alberson, uh, assuming Jeff Alberson transformation. Yes, I am a ghoul. I am a ghoul. Kajit. Jeffy boy? Uh. Jeff? You good? Oh dear lord. He looks like... That is super uncanny. It reminds me... I... There was that famous painting of the person in an overcoat with a hat on and they've got an apple in front of their face. It reminds me of that, in a way. I'm get That's the core, right? Is it the core? Yeah, that's what controls. But like, is that thing... It? Like that worms its way in or is that... Is that <laughs> Basewood County, the forgotten humanoid. Oh, so... Jeff was the forgotten humanoid. Gotcha. Interesting. Those illustrations are dope, by the way. Really freaking cool. Um, fantastic work, Dark Mind. It's in the same vein as like Darien Quilloy, like the art. The art is fantastic. Subscribe, guys. You heard you heard the man. Go subscribe to that. Wow, that was a flash. Well, there we go, guys. So we learned that the, the forgotten humanoid is Jeff Alberson and that there are multiple of these humanoids and they're coming from that that freaking window thing in the chamber. So either throw a grenade through there or, you know, just get a bit of wood from, uh, you know, uh, Call of Duty zombies. Just bar that up, you know, stop them coming through for a little bit. Um, it doesn't seem good. Or maybe we should just go through there. Team of seals. Not like the animals, like army, they go in and just destroy everything. Because that's what humans are good at doing. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. I'm going to leave a light rating there. Guys, go and support Dark Mind. Go watch this video for yourself. Watch alongside me or just watch in your spare time. Whatever can support the original creator. Because without these people, I'm basically nothing. Okay, I am in so much debt to these people, to these creators, and I'll always be grateful for them, and I'll always try and support them as best as I can. So go subscribe, go like the video, and if you enjoyed my reaction video, guys, why not leave a like rating, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.